Hello friends, I hope you have seen and learned how we can find the zeros in a given product. In first part, I told you some of the examples in which I took random numbers but in this part, I am going to take up numbers which are starting from 1 that is the natural numbers. So if you have a series like this, like the numbers starting from 1 and ending at 10 and all numbers are multiplied together. See, we cannot uh, assume that uh, we can find the product and then find the number of zeros which will come at the end of the product because that is going to consume a lot of time. So we need a method through which we can find out the number of zeros easily. Secondly, the method which I told you like to factorize each and every term of the given uh, product that will also be very tedious here because in the first case it, it, it is only 10 numbers but in the second case you see I have written the product up to 50 and here I have written the product up to 100. So it is impossible to make factors of all the numbers and sort out the number of 2's and number of 5's. So to find the number of 2's and number of 5's I have a method for you. See the number of 2's. How you can find the number of 2's? Just see the last number here. Last number is 10. And mind you, no number should be missing and the series uh, should start with 1. So last number is 10 and we want to find the number of 2's. So divided by 2 you get 5. Now 5 is greater than this divisor 2. So we can again divide 5 by the same divisor 2. Now you get 2 as the quotient and 1 as the remainder. Just forget the remainder. 5 divided by 2 is 2 point something. So I will write only 2. Now 2 and 2 they are equal. So we can divide again. So in the final step we will have one more step like this in which we will be dividing 2 by 2 you get 1 and now 1 is less than 2 so this is what we want we keep on dividing when we get a number quotient which is less than the divisor then we stop and now just count 5 6 7 8 so there are 8 twos in this product you don't need to factorize each and every term here. Just follow this procedure and you will find the number of 2's. Similarly, number of 5's. See, last number is 10 and now the divisor becomes 5. This gives you 2. Now 2 is less than 5. So there are only 2 5's in this product. How many 2's? 8 2's, how many 5's? 2 5's. So your answer will be minimum of number of 2's and number of 5's, 8 and 2, which is equal to 2. So your answer is 2 zeros in the product. So a very, very important uh, concept again for finding the number of zeros in a given product like this. Now if you know the method, let us apply the trick here. Number of 2's, see this is 50, so 50 divided by 2 is 25, now 25 is much larger, larger than 2, so we will divide again, 25 divided by 2 is 12, 12 is again larger, and so 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 3 divided by 2 is 1 with 1 uh, as the remainder, just forget the remainder. Now number of 5's, 50 divided by 5 is 10 and 10 divided by 5 is 2. See the answer, number of zeros minimum of, see 25, 12, 37 and 10, 47. So there will be 47 2's and 12 5's in this product, thereby giving you the answer 12, 12 zeros.
Friends, once you know this method, now you can reduce the complexity further. How? I will tell you. Just observe that the number of 2's will always be greater than number of 5's. Here also number of 2's is much larger than number of 5's. So we need to take the minimum of the 2. So just find the number of 5's. So let's solve this using this method. Number of 5's. See, there are total 100 numbers. So 100 divided by 5 gives you 20. 20 divided by 5 gives you 4. Now 4 is less than 5. So total number of 5's are 24. Therefore, your answer for the question will be 24 zeros. So friends, now I have reduced the complexity further and instead of finding 2's, you can find only the number of 5's and get to your answer very very quickly. Very important for all competitive exams and I am sure this is going to save a lot of time for you. So don't forget to share the video links with your friends and if you have not done till now, please subscribe the channel.